What's up, my Madden Rebo Warriors? Today we have a game for the Carolina Panthers. They are one of our franchise focused teams, one of eight teams we were building in this slow sim league called Franchises. They are playing the, uh, they are Carolina, and they are playing the Denver Broncos, who are very hot right now. Uh, since acquiring Mac Jones, I think they've only lost one game. Uh, they have a different head coach, it's not Sean Payton, and they're using the um, the Las Vegas offense and defense. Yes, that's right. And <clears throat> it's it's got Sutton playing great. It's Mac Jones is playing great. They they've been dropping some points. If you've seen our one of our other rebuilds, we're doing uh, the L.A. Chargers. The Denver Broncos just you know destroyed their defense. I mean, it was a really high scoring game, but uh, not only is the Denver offense playing well, but their defense is playing really well too. Uh, Patrick Sertain and the rookie Kool Aid McKinnistry are balling. So enough about Denver. Uh, let's talk about our Carolina Panthers. Uh, we're switching up their three four defense uh, to a different uh, three four playbook. Uh, they were in, I think, the Falcons. Yeah, they were in the Falcons, and they they have one of the worst defenses. Now, I also think it's part of how the offense works. They're in the run and shoot playbook. They have four wide receivers on the field at all times, uh, so very unique. And I think sometimes, like they put up points, but uh, they have a lot of three and outs, and that is what is also hurting the defense. I think next year I'm going to move most of the franchise focus teams over to. Four threes. They seem to be play. They seem to play better in the sim, but we'll see. That remains to be to be seen. Um, but just so you uh, know who is on this team, if you haven't seen already and you're new here, there's uh, plenty of videos of the draft and off seasons and trades and all that stuff. We do podcasts after every week to show the stats and the injuries and the results. Bryce Young, we're trying to fix him. And uh, this playbook throws for a lot of yards. Uh, Ham, there's there's no fullback really ever on the field. You have Hardman who came over on a one-year deal. They drafted Jermaine Burton. Uh, he's okay. He's not great. McCole Harmon's got almost 800 yards receiving. Jonathan Mingo is uh, very close to getting 1,000 yards. Uh, and he has, him and Marshall are like leading the league in receptions. They're, they're check down guys. They got some big, you know, plays over the middle. Uh, Marshall is uh, one of the best, if not the best wide receivers in the game for his production right now. Jalen McMillan's okay. He's filled in from time to time. I think he might actually be better than Burton and uh, Hardman, but given his size, 6'1". Uh, but we're giving these guys a shot, one more, you know, a couple more shots here to see if we can fix this offense. I don't know if we'll keep him in this offense next year. But we'll see. Uh, look at the offensive line. They got a nice little rookie here, Connor Col- uh, Colby, uh, star development from Iowa. So I think maybe another piece on the offensive line if we have to. Definitely think we if we stick with the three four, we need to get another piece like uh, to replace Altry. Dak Brown's a monster. Sweat is huge, but he really hasn't uh, done that much yet. DJ Johnson starts, but Amari Barno's the uh, sub linebacker, and uh, he he's big and fast and gets some sacks. Jack Thompson, Luvu, Brian Burns. You know, it would be nice if Brian Burns had an an X factor or superstar development, but it does not. J.C. Horn. We need another corner as well. Uh, this man, I think, is better off suited moving into the slot. He has uh, well, he's one of our highest slot rated corners and uh that's where he plays in the sub packages to get Xavier Woods on the on the field but yeah I just not a he's super fast and I think he's better at a corner for us Jeremy Chan we brought back he uh he wouldn't resign but we were able to resign him in free agency Kate York and uh Trenton Gill so those are that's our team let's get into it um, without further ado, here is Denver at Carolina. We need a win. I, I want to see us get to 8-9 if possible. Just keep building up our players and our coaches, and uh, next year we'll we'll get it running because uh, 
this is more about development of Bryce Young and, and this team than it is, I think, making the playoffs. Ready to get us started. It's Cade York. And off we go from uptown Charlotte. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, didn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Well, they have the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Throwing Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He can really smell 800 catches right now because that last one puts him at 799, knocking on the door. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. The numbers for Williams a week ago, 24 carries, 115 yards. And the way they ran the ball last week has to bring a smile to the faces of the entire coaching staff because not only are they seeing a back pile up yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line in sync. And that bodes well this late in the season. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Now Jones. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. To throw on third down, Jones. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Amari Bordo in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year of the NFL now. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? Now a second down throw for Young. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he'll be crowned right on field right around the 40-yard line. There is no 
third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. This is an offense that's near the bottom of the league in rushing, so defensively coming in, you've got to know you're going to see the ball in the air a lot. And that time, it's a completion and a first down on this opening drive. A first carry for the Canadian-born Chuba Hubbard. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down from the 44-yard line. Here's second and six. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. This defense for the Broncos, they really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. Yeah, they only allowed 13 points, and you can poll all 32 coaches, and I guarantee you they'd say, we'll take that every single week. But let me think about that for a second. Maybe there will be one, one contrarian that would say, give me 10. This one good for a first down, and also that is catch number 94 and now on the season. Now Young. start here on the opening drive Charles he's now 4-4 and they're already in plus territory Brandon he's been so precise to start this game that we're watching an operation taking place right now master surgeon at work first and 10 young pressure applied and he's going to be taken down they sack him back at the 33 yard line that one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Young. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Young on third down. Taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Now Young. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Escaping the pressure right. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Hubbard is in. Touchdown, Carolina. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end and come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt? Turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. Now Cade York for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7-0 lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. On second down, Williams. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. 
Operating from the gun. Jones. And off balance throw there. And it's going to wind up incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. As we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped, so let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM that always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. They'll run a draw now with Hubbard. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. Young now from the 50. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Put out by Alex Singleton, and he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Give him 14 yards there and a Denver first down. Again, it's Williams. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Jones now looking to throw on second down. Throw to the right, caught by Dulcich. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And movement by one of the Broncos up front. And okay. in comes the flag. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. This quick pass complete to Sutton. So give him two yards there on the completion. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Danico Autry able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decided to make it a priority, and it's working out. And his kick is indeed good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. 
So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And Young's throw there incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Young will set to throw. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill and Marvin Mims deep for Denver. Fielded at the 33. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. And Denver getting set to take the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. From the 44, Jones. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Now Williams running left. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. one and that's going to be intercepted picked off by J.C. Horn down to the 10 and he will bring this one back it's a pick six for a Panther touchdown an excellent play there CD on the pick six and I think they were they a nickel did they have an extra DB out there yeah, Brandon, I think they went standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. The York now for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Denver's offense now set to go. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. 
And he finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. This is second and eight. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And Shaq tops it here with a pick. And the Panthers will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Following the interception, Young. This will be caught downfield by Marshall. A big play there for Carolina. 42 yards. As my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, Make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Young to throw it. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked off by Chandon Sullivan. And the Broncos force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Well, the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Jones on first down. Throw over the middle, taken in by Dulcich. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. On second and very short, Jones. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. A first and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. Pressure comes in, he's brought down, it's a Panther sack. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout, and with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And the pressure gets to him again. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. The final shot before break. Jones. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Ready for the second half. 14-3 to three our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. But the Panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half 
They didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. To throw on second down is Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw, Young. He's got a man, that's Marshall. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And from the 41, this is second and a yard. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. And he'll get up near the 45, he'll spot it at the 44. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. To throw, Young. In trouble, and he's taken down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. He already did his primary job with an interception earlier, but here he gets a chance to be a pass rusher and takes on the challenge of blitzing and makes another big play. That's something to file away and maybe break out later in this one or in a future game. Yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Throwing, Young. sideline but they're going to rule him out of bounds so it'll be incomplete and certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down here's the Panthers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time his first punt 45 yards this looks good as well fair catch called for right around the 11 yard line so a change of possession here on the punt and it'll be first and 10 Broncos from deep in their own territory Now Jones on first and 10. This is Ertz on a pitch and catch. And we'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Second down and three. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And he's going to have the Broncos first down as the tackle made at the 23-yard line. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Second and ten. They run it again with Williams. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be the Panthers' ball first and 10. Here is Young. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. When that ball popped free, we can hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. 
And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Here's third and nine. Young now. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down, threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. When are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Set to take over, the Broncos offense trots back out. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Now a second and ten. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 69 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Second down and eight. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he's going to ball his way forward to the 48. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Throwing Jones. And a throw there going to be incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? Now, loose football, the ball comes out. And one of the linebackers has got it, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. He's now lost fumbles in back-to-back -back weeks, and of course, you remember last week's game, such a close affair, that hurt him. Hurt him in a big way, and it is so key to take care of the ball because remember, the team making the fewest mistakes usually wins the game. So you got to take care of the ball, lock it away, high and tight, as you often hear from running back coaches. Four points of pressure, fingertips, forearm, biceps, sternum, or chest, put it away. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. He'll take it inside the 25. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Marvin Mims, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos take the force fumble and convert it into six points. The fly route works for the TD grab. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. It's caught at the one. 
don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. Now here's Young. That's complete. Again, he's got Marshall. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Now Young. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. Fielded at about the 28. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and 10. Now Jones. His throw incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? And that's going to be incomplete. Now an injured player here stoppage and they're attending to Matt Jones the quarterback while they come out and take a look at him we will step aside for just a moment the Broncos send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today a call for a fair catch and it's made at about the 23 yard line it'll be a 39 yard punt no return and it will be first and 10 as they take over Young looks to throw on first down. Checks this down to Hubbard. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. That throw by Young incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Young on third down. And that is incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This offense on third down today, just one conversion in eight tries. Not good. This is third and eight. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And out across midfield, down to the 45. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Throwing is Wilson. Pushes past him. Open man, and again, it's Sutton. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Second and a couple. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Four yards to pick up, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. A give to Williams, running right. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it. But don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Wilson work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And they're going to get him. They bring him down and sack back in the 16-yard line. Derek Brown in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Coming off the line, he's been wreaking havoc all year, and look, that's why, as a result, he's getting some looks for defensive player of the year in the NFL. And I know that many people don't have him first on their list right now, but he deserves that type of consideration. You mentioned it. All year long, he's made big plays and continues to do so. Imagine if he has a big game here. If so, he can vault himself right into the number one spot. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. For the lead, here's third and goal. Williams showing off the elusiveness as he's in. Touchdown. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Wilson going to throw for it. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they've upped their lead to three. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Carolina offense about ready to go. 
And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that one. No gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Right back to Hubbard. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves them with a fourth down now. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. Here's the Panthers punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And it's fielded at the 34. Following the punt return here, there's someone shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And he is going to have the Broncos first, and that should be the capper. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll hand it off now, Williams. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. And his kick is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So for Denver, they get back to 500 now as the win moves them to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for Carolina, they drop their 10th game now to fall to 4-10. and 10. And they'll try to turn it around next week as they head to Atlanta for a matchup with the Falcons. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.